is that your peach fuzz? I still have, I still have some here. <laughs> I can see little, I can see little pieces of hair. But it'll be gone. I, can y'all see the little pieces of hair? That I have left? I have a little bit. Let's see if it'll come off. Sometimes if I rub it. I don't know. Some days it comes out. Some days it don't. But I have some tiny, tiny, tiny pieces left. <laughs> okay. So. The stuff in my lungs. They think. They don't know what it is, but maybe TB, maybe not TB. could be my Bactrim. More than likely, it might be Monomac, which is scary because my cousin got Monomac Cansai, and that's not fun. So I'm just waiting to get off this antibiotics. So I can clean my bootay, because my bootay needs to be cleaned. And Amazon called me at such the wrong time to ask where to drop a package off. I didn't mean to be rude, and I can't even call him back, because I probably won't even get the same person. But I was like, this is really not a good time. I'm about to get pricked with the needle. So I gotta, like, I gotta go, because she was fixing to, like, stick me as I was on the phone. So, yeah, that was crazy. So, my wig and stuff should be here tomorrow. I have another wig that I'm going to unbox with you guys. So, this will be my fourth wig I have at the hospital. I don't even know why I have my wigs with me because I'm not even wearing them right now. I'll more than likely wear them at home. But, um... Yeah, so that should be here tomorrow. I even bought a new flat iron because the flat iron that I have, because my hair was so thick and curly, um, goes only up to 450 because that's like the only heat that will straighten my hair. But if I use that high heat on my wigs, they'll melt because they're not human hair because I don't have like $1,000 to spend on a wig and that just doesn't make sense to spend over a thousand dollars on hair like that's just crazy to me i'd rather get 30 wigs for 50 bucks versus a thousand dollars for one wig like that's crazy plus i have some really good quality wigs like must i add so amazon you're doing your damn thing i even got some eyelashes with one of my wigs like that was awesome and they're not even cheap ass eyelashes they're huda so like they're expensive so that the eyelashes alone are like 20 20 something bucks and my wig was like 45 bucks so technically i got like a 80 dollar deal or almost a hundred dollar deal for like anywho so that's that. I um, think I'm going to do my makeup tomorrow. I'm not really sure. I might just for you guys. Um, but I got to like take a shower because it's been a day or two. Because I've been hooked up to this thing 24-7 and I'm just like, blah. I also threw up tonight. But it wasn't that bad because it was just... Gatorade because I didn't eat and you know my fat ass threw up and I ate literally like right after I threw up I started eating like I have no type of I don't know but I was hungry anyway so and I'm a, I might not be big but I'm a big girl at heart so I didn't care like, my, my behind was finna eat. 
Yeah, I spent like $40 on some stinking snacks. I don't know what I'm doing. For real, for real. Somebody need to take my phone. Or at least my credit card and hide that bitch. Because you know unemployment stopped. But I was, I be saving my unemployment. So I, I always had like $1,800. Every time my unemployment came, I had $1,800. I never let it go underneath a thousand. So I do have like a little bit of cushion for like while I'm here in the hospital. So I have like six hundred dollars to last me to I go home. So I'm pretty good on on that. Plus I have like a bunch of grants that I signed for. So hopefully I'll get those and that will help pay my rent and help with bills and stuff because I'm not allowed to work and I'm not allowed to ever dance again. So hopefully everything will just work out. You know, you have to let it go and leave it to God sometimes because he already has our lives planned out. And we just kind of have to go with the flow because he already know how things are going to go. So we just have to like just live day to day and just go with the flow and be as happy as we can in the moments that we can be happy. Like everybody thinks that I'm doing a really good job with handling it. And that's just because I look at life like a glass half full. And, yeah, my situation sucks, but it could be totally worse. And, like, I can eat, I can walk, I can talk, I can feel, you know what I'm saying? So what, I lost my hair. So what, it's not that big of a deal. Um, Do I hurt sometimes? Yes, absolutely, but it's not that bad. There's other people out there that have it way worse than I do. And I'm very blessed to be where I am right now. And the fact that my white counts are going up is even better because that means that I did this for a reason and it wasn't all for nothing. So that means that it's working. So I think I have like 220 white blood cells and your A and C is very important. That's what helps you fight off infections and colds and heals your body when you get hurt and stuff like that. So that's really good that that's going up. Hopefully it stays going on this track that it's going. It's going really good and it's going really high, really fast. So I'm really, really, really lucky and I'm so happy that everything is going so well. I've had a lot of good therapy in my life, and I think that all the bad things that have happened in my life was all just preparing me for this very moment. Because sometimes, no, I'm not happy, and I'm not always in a good mood. But when I am in a good mood, I try to really, like, soak and bask in it because... You never know what tomorrow might bring. Like today, I found out I have so many nodules in my lungs that they can't count how many are there. And I have to do a lung biopsy. And then I got to figure out what type of infectious diseases in my lungs. But that's okay. Because God already knows how he wants everything to work out and how it's going to go. And I'm going to trust and believe in him. Because either way it goes, whether I live or I don't, I'm okay. Because at 29 years old, I lived a very, 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 very fulfilling life. And a very good life. A couple lives actually in one. And I'm at peace with myself. And I'm at peace with God. And because of that, I believe everything is going to work out. Because... I have completely, physically, mentally, and spiritually have surrendered to God. And when you do that, things start to change for you. I removed all the toxic people out of my life. 
and the people who are supposed to be here are here and that's what matters and you guys are like so supportive and so like loving and half of you guys I don't even know and I love you guys so much because you keep me going and you keep me fighting and that's really important and like I'm mad grateful for my Facebook friends like for real y'all are the best in the whole entire world like I just I don't know what I would do without you guys I love you guys so much but I'm done on here chitter chatting I just wanted to like give you guys an update and hopefully we'll know more here soon about what's going on with my lungs hopefully it's not that big of a deal and it's something easy to fix but i am a morin and <laughs> nothing is simple for us so yeah but let it go let it be to god i'm cool with whatever and however whatever gotta get done i'm gonna do it you know but uh i love you guys stay safe Say stay a little stay safe, stay vigilant, be loving, be kind, be generous when you can. And always remember, like tomorrow is not promised today. So don't be like, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. No, do it today because tomorrow's not promised to anybody. Live in your moment, live in the moment, enjoy every second, good and bad. And um, I'm going to let y'all go. I love you guys. Have a good night. I look like Van Diesel's little cousin. Like on everything I love, I look crazy. All right. Bye. <laughs>